Bless a good evening to the church globally. And to the church, I've been privileged to pastor these 25 years, the fountain of youth ministry. As the pastor and bishop of this thriving church, over time, I have witnessed seasons of tremendous outpouring. And at the same time, I have seen inescapable trauma and storm. But none of us has ever seen a time quite like today a time of indefinite chaos, a time of unbounded sickness and disease, a time of uncertainty and seemingly indefinite inconvenience. It feels as if though the world has stopped and all of us have slipped into a dark room where there is no doors, no departures, no way of getting out, and as a consequence, it becomes easy for us to fear or to doubt or to have confusions. The coronavirus, this unprecedented phenomenon, this horrific pandemic that has claimed the lives of so many people has in one way or another left all of us paralyzed with dismay. But if there is one lesson we all can learn from this crisis, all of us should realize that none of us are self-sustaining and that times that bring us pain should also draw us closer. Maybe this is what God is trying to tell us. Maybe he's trying to tell us that we need him. Maybe it's time for us to realize that God is the source of our survival. Whatever the lessons are that you take from this season of your life, I personally want you to know that God is in control. When it doesn't look good, he's in control. When you don't understand any of it, he's in control. When you're lost for words, he's in control. And so while we're all called to a place of quiet and isolation, let this thought be a part of your meditation. I pray your strength. I pray your well-being. I pray for your family. And if you will allow me, I would like to take this time to play Psalm 121 on your heart. This is what it reads. I will lift my eyes to the hills from whence cometh my help. My help comes from God who made heaven and earth. Be encouraged. This too shall pass.